for the bus system yesterday at noon, but some local riders advocacy groups are taking issue with some plans saying they'll harm rather than help. Latest now from reporter Alexander Leslie. Some groups like RI Transit Riders and GrowSmart RI tell me the changes will make the transit experience considerably worse. I also followed up with RIDOT Director Peter Albedi. From a rider's perspective, we think it's a flawed concept. John Flaherty is with Grow Smart Rhode Island. He says RIDOT's proposal for a multi-hub bus plan in Providence doesn't fit the best interest of all riders, and keeping one central bus hub would do that. A person who is using transit to get to their job um, shouldn't have to make three transfers to get there. And we'll continue to work on getting that to as small a number as possible. Rideout right Director Peter Alvidi says they are listening to the ridership, but the new connections also aim to attract new riders. Recreating and reimagining a transit system that services the future of the state better. Flaherty adds not enough dialogue between RIPTA's current riders took place. Alvidi says that's not been the case and a dialogue will actually continue. He believes it's time to get going on the project. And I know that is disconcerting for some people, but we don't want to stay in a perpetual state of planning. It's time to actually do something. Flaherty offers this alternative. I'd really like more than anything for, for RIDOT to abandon this concept because it's flawed and to turn it over to the agency that actually runs the transit system in the state. Right now, the DOT says stakeholder outreach is being done. Construction is slated to begin next summer, completed by 2023. I'm Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.